Welcome back to another Logic Pro tutorial. In this video, we're going to be going over how to uh, quantize audio, extract a groove template, and then apply that to a MIDI region. So the first thing you need to have your audio loop in there. I have the sparse funk beat uh, from Apple Loops. Let's give it a listen. Alright, so it has a nice funky feel to it. Kind of feels like Square Biz by Tina Marie. So, first thing, you want to click on your region. Now, when you look over here in your inspector window, you'll notice that you do not currently have the option to quantize. So, first, what you need to do, Command F, F for flex time. So, you want to Command F to turn on flex time. Then you want to come in your track header for the particular track that you want to get the groove from. You want to enable flex time on that particular track. Now that flex time is enabled, when you look over here to the left, now you have quantize as an option. So we're going to click on that and we're going to go down to make groove template. So it's now going to take the feel of this and apply it to other tracks. So now I'm gonna come up here to my Atlanta, uh, my Atlanta uh, drum machine designer track. All right, and we're just gonna pull up the step sequencer and make a basic drum beat real quick. Uh, so let's see, I'm gonna mute this. And we're gonna do a two bar loop, so. Let's get the snare in there. So let's put that right there. Oh, okay. All right, so we got that. We'll just go ahead and drag some hi-hats in here. All right, so now we got our basic drum pattern. So we want this drum pattern to have the groove or the feel of this. All right, so in order to do that, First, since we're in step sequencer, uh, you'll notice that over here, you don't have options to change anything. So we need to convert this uh, step sequencer pattern to a MIDI region. So we're gonna control click, convert to MIDI region, and now we can come over here, go to quantize, click on off, and now we want the sparse funk beat. Oh, I'm sorry, I still have the other beat playing. Let me mute that. All right, that's what it's like slightly with that groove. Now, if I turn it off, let's go ahead and do that. You'll see the notes moved around up slightly. See, this sounds more... That sounds more robot robotic. It sounds too perfect, right? So let's go back. Let's put the little little swing on it again, right? And that gives it a different feel. So that is how you can steal the groove from an audio recording and apply it to your MIDI recording. Uh, thank you for tuning in.